G'day, I'm Eddie Springer from Springer Solar. We're here on the Sunshine Coast at this property for a look at our on-grid hybrid system with a three-phase solar system, Fronius hybrid inverter, and a BYD battery stack. This is a really high quality system utilizing the latest technology products to power their home. This system will allow them to increase their self-consumption and offer blackout protection with a full three-phase backup system. Okay, at this property, we can see our solar inverter and our solar battery bank. This property is a grid-connected hybrid system. So what that means is the property is connected to the grid. This site has three-phase power, so we can see the SIMO Fronius inverter. Three-phase is a SIMO. Single-phase property would be a PRIMO, but this is a grid-connected property with solar on the roof. Very different to an off-grid property. Off-grid property would have similar equipment, batteries and solar, but there wouldn't be a grid connection to the street. We wouldn't have the, the street as backup. We would be using a generator. So on-grid hybrid system, solar inverter, solar panels on the roof, and our energy storage system here. In this property, Gen 24 SIMO three-phase inverter with full backup capability, and our BYD 11 kilowatt hour battery stack to be able to store any excess solar before the energy is then exported to the street. That energy that we store in the battery bank allows us to utilize it overnight, offset our overnight usage, utilize more of that solar energy, but also provide blackout protection in the event of an outage. So at this property, we have a retired couple who have moved into this property. They're trying to reduce their bills and fully utilize their solar system they have decided to put in energy storage to reduce their ongoing costs. They now have fixed power pricing because they know that 99% of their energy is generated from their own roof and stored in their own battery bank. They are insulated against power price rises from the grid because their energy is stored in their own property. This system here, Sunshine Coast Hinterland, you know, we are in a more semi-rural area there are a lot of trees in the area, there's overhead power lines. Blackouts in this area may be a concern and may be a concern in the future. This system does offer three-phase blackout protection as well, which is another really good reason when looking at energy independence and being able to have energy available all year round, this battery bank does provide blackout protection as well. So I mentioned before that this is a three-phase property. The differences between three phase and single phase is just that on a three phase property, we have the ability to use more energy. So the energy within the home is split up across three different phases from the street and that energy comes in as a three phase supply. The Fronius Simo Gen 24 inverter in a blackout will continue to operate and charge the batteries, but it will also allow us to run three phase equipment in our blackout. If it was a single phase property, we would have a Primo Gen 24 single phase in from the street. Again, in a blackout, the solar system would continue to operate. We would be able to run that single phase blackout from our Primo inverter. Now you can get single phase blackout protection on a three phase property. All that means is we are limited in the amount of energy that we can run in a blackout. We're only running one of those phases, so we might group some of those critical circuits onto that phase to provide blackout protection. We don't have to do that with the SIMO Gen 24. It's a genuine three-phase backup solution. So in the event of an outage, we are backing up our priority circuits across three different phases. This is a 10 kilowatt unit, so we're limited to 3.3 kilowatts of backup per phase on the output side. So coupled with our Fronius Gen 24 inverter, we have our BYD HVM battery stack. Now you can see in this battery stack, there are four 2.76 kilowatt hour modules. Coupled with that, the BMS or the brains of the system, and then the little base. Now this battery stack, on a three phase inverter, we can increase it up to 22 kilowatt hours, but we're currently running it with four modules at 11.04 kilowatt hours. Very simple to increase this stack. 
We could put a second stack beside it, or we could increase this stack capacity by adding extra modules here. So BYD HVM battery stack coupled with our Fronius Simo Gen 24 inverter. So on the roof of this property, we have Trina 440 watt N-type solar panels at 13.2 kilowatt array. Coming down into the inverter here via two separate strings, powering this inverter, which will provide energy into the batteries, energy into the house. Excess energy, once these batteries are charged, is exported into the grid. In the event of a blackout, the solar system will throttle back to be able to charge the batteries and run the house to ensure these batteries are fully managed and the house is kept running while the grid is down, should there be an outage. All right, so we're at the switchboard within this property. I just wanna show you a few things about how this is set up. So main switch from the grid, that is our grid supply to the property. We've got our Fronius smart meter to measure the energy the house is using. We've also got our backup circuits labeled within the switchboard. So these are the essential circuits that will be powered in the event of a blackout. Fully labeled, we've got our inverter supply main switch. We've also got our backup contactor in there. So that allows the property to run seamlessly while the grid's on and then drops out the circuits we don't want to run in the event of a blackout and only powers our essential circuits which are labelled. So some of the things on these standalone circuits are uh, essential power points, the septic system or the bio cycle, we've got our fridge, we've got our internet and we've got our lighting. Let's simulate a blackout by turning the main switch grid supply off, pretending as if we're losing power on the street and we'll watch how the system operates. Let's rock and roll. So the grid is off, we're just waiting for the inverter to come back on. Look at that, the lights are back on, power's back onto the property. Takes a few minutes for the modem or the internet to refire up, for the inverter to get a connection back to that uh, modem system. Once that modem and inverter are reconnected, that'll happen seamlessly and automatically. We can look at the data to see what's happening while the grid is down. We can monitor our usage, we can monitor our battery state of charge so that we can run our home even with a grid outage. But as you can see, lights are on, roller doors on. This property is operating as a three phase off grid system right now with the grid out of play. So we're currently in an outage. We've simulated an outage at this property by turning off the grid supply main switch. So we can see that the grid is inactive, zero watts available from the utility or from the street. Our battery is fully charged. You know, it's midday right now, battery's fully charged at 100%. So all the solar system is doing is providing enough energy to run the loads in the house, small amount of wattage going to the batteries, but it's almost negligible. The solar system will ramp up and down to be able to provide energy to whatever's on in the house. And if that usage was higher than what the solar system could deliver, the battery will start delivering energy into that, into that load. So we're running on our essential circuits right now. So we have some lighting on, we've got some power on, we've got the internet on, we've got TVs on, we've got our fridges running. We don't have the whole house set up on backup. We will flatten this battery bank way too fast, but we're running our essential circuits, everything we need to be able to operate this property. At the moment, 532 watts being drawn. Our batteries aren't even doing any work because all of that energy is being delivered by our solar system. And we can sustain a blackout at this rate as long as we're careful with our usage. So we're looking at yesterday so 22nd of July, and we're looking at the data for the system of how it's been operating. So green line, we can see the state of charge of the battery. So battery's creeping down overnight as the energy is drawn out of those batteries and is powering the home. Beautiful day yesterday, almost a perfect bell curve. The yellow under the curve is the battery utilization. So we're seeing that battery being charged with the solar system and that self-consumption of the energy that we're providing. The orange in the background there, that's solar energy being exported to the grid. I'm like, holy dooly, these guys export a lot of energy to the grid. Yes, they do, but they are future-proofing their home for this electrification of everything. 
We might have an EV charger at this property soon. They're currently driving a hybrid. So it's a non-plug-in hybrid. They may have a plug-in EV soon. We start soaking up a lot of that excess solar energy. They may move other equipment within this property to electric utilization. All of this spare solar capacity there can be used to soak up that energy. Battery capacity might get bigger. We start utilizing more of that solar energy. But you can see the battery makes it through the night. You know, if we go through these previous days, battery discharge, battery recharges, as they use power, their state of charge drops down, but they're utilizing all of their solar energy and they're offsetting their overnight usage. We can look at the month to month. Okay, so solar energy is the big orange line. Blue is their consumption and the yellow is their self-consumption. They're actually very, very rarely pulling any power in from the grid. These guys are very energy conscious. They're very low users of electricity. So they are able to run their household with the system we've got on the roof, with these HVM batteries, and they're at a you know, 99 to 100% self-consumption and reliant on their own solar energy. So it's a really good system, a really good app and portal to allow us to see how the system's performing. We get this data remotely as well. I could look at this from my office and talk to the customer about their energy bill, make changes uh, that they may need to do to utilize the system more. Data is key in managing your solar system better. Okay, so you might be wondering why we chose Fronius BYD for this property. Well, this was a new build site where the homeowner was looking for a brand new system. We knew that the property was gonna be a three phase supply and the customer wanted to be able to fully utilize their three phase energy with their batteries uh, while the grid is active and while the grid is not active. Tesla battery systems are a single phase backup. Now they can be managed on a three phase property, but this customer wanted a large solar system that would be easily approved by their network operator, which is Energy Queensland. They wanted three phase backup and they were keen on a really good quality, high quality European system in Fronius and a really good quality battery in BYD. So that allowed us to choose these products for this installation. Since doing this install, other three-phase hybrid systems have become available. This system's nearly 12 months old now. So at the time, good quality three-phase solution, this was it, Fronius and BYD. I really hope you've got something out of our video today talking about grid-connected hybrid systems. We've showcased our bread and butter system. We do these systems day in, day out. We've been installing solar for 22 years. We love grid hybrid systems. We love utilizing high quality products like this and offering energy solutions to our customers. This 13 kilowatt system on the roof, this energy storage system here, this three phase Fronius inverter provides an energy solution for this customer, not only for today, but into the future. Thanks for your time.